Where is Sean? We have to film this intro. I wonder if he's in the van. Sean! Oh, what's going on? Oh, is it time for the in-light vlog? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We're just about to get to the final piece of this inlay. Don't sleep on it, it's gonna be sick. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. So our inlay all cut out, looks beautiful, but unfortunately we're starting off our day here fixing a mistake. Yeah, I know, we make mistakes, it's crazy. You would never expect it, but we do sometimes. And it was just a stupid little mistake. We didn't account for how far our border was gonna cut over and we laid these a little bit too far this way so we got to just unscrew our clips knock them all down get them closer and then we can track all this so not a huge deal but just a stupid little mistake that got to pay attention well why are you coming over here and bothering me what happened over there give uh, us a give us a post game analysis we got lazy bottom line we got lazy nobody we didn't check where our inlay was coming through we didn't check our overhang we just got so jacked up that we're putting deck boards down that we didn't care where we put deck boards as long as they were on the deck. And now we got to move deck boards. Yep. There's no such thing as a problem. It's just a solution we haven't found yet. And we found the solution and then we're moving forward. Feet on the ground, head down, power through. You win some, you lose some, but we just always win. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. So when they break, you scramble them and then you have breakfast. And it's a good start to your day. <laughs> 26. Yeah. 26. All right, so we got these boards fixed. Anthony finished track sawing all the edges. So we're getting ready to start installing this inlay detail. You can see how we have this basket weave effect going on. So we need to be really conscious of where the pieces start, where they end, so everything ends up consistent. So. I'm quarterbacking here. I'm gonna be referencing that rendering, calling out measurements, installing everything. So first one, 126, we got it? I'm always gonna hand you the bad end. Perfect, I'm putting that little bevel on the good end. Perfect. One thing that we like to do when we're fitting these boards tight together, like we're doing here on this inlay, is put this piece on a little bit of a bevel, about three degrees, and that way the top end is sticking out a little bit further, and there's gonna be nothing on the bottom edge of that board that keeps us away. It's really quite beautiful already. Okay. Over here, two feet. I got it. Oh, okay. So we're getting our last couple pieces in here, and uh, check this out. The other thing that we do, we also rip these on a bevel. So can you see that? A little bit of a bevel there. Come here. You can see when we track sawed, that's the depth that the track saw went to, and then we snapped it off. So we just don't want that holding us up against here. That's why we put that on a tiny bit of a bevel. And you can see the top really nice and tight. The bottom, a little bit of relief. Okay, Maybe now is the, the perfect time. Come here, come on in. Let's, let's get learn close. these people something, yes, John. Yes, yes, yes. Because this is definitely the video that we're gonna get. We're gonna learn you you gotta leave 12 inches for expansion yeah. and contraction. The closest it should be is this close. close. That's not how we install this product here. This is not your typical wood plastic composite. This is a mineral-based composite, the Decorator's Voyage series. 
minimal, super minimal expansion and contraction. And we find if anything, they're not expanding, they're contracting just the tiniest just bit. bit. They're not expanding beyond the normal capacity dimensions or yeah, whatever. Whatever that means. But anyway, we've been installing this stuff super tight and it's good. Never had it's any fine. Issues. We've got no issues with it. So please still leave the hater comments because we love hearing them, but um, just also know that you're wrong. And that little back, that little back cut gives us a little bit of relief. There's your little bit of expansion and contraction. When do I get my relief? <laughs> anything to say got a lot to say what's up with this weather what's up with the rain man I think this angle is like real like crazy like a 90s hip-hop music video <laughs> <laughs> now that we have our inlay pretty much done here we're gonna start with the stairs going from the upper deck to the lower deck the, the, the... and stair building uh 101 time 101 time all right yeah. what time is it it's 101 like, it's 801 are we going right into it uh yeah i guess all right <laughs> so what we're dealing we got a set of steps going over here on that upper deck down to the lower deck we have a number of 41 and a half heavy so that's going to break down to seven rises our seventh riser is the deck itself so we need to build a set of steps with six steps our number came out to five and 15 sixteenths so what i do is get my trusty squid jigs my rise at five and 15 sixteenths my run at 13 inches a little tip that i do i always check with a tape measure i'll butt my tape and measure back just to make sure they're right on the money. Set them nice and tight. Start tracing. Just follow. 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 And when you get to the top, this line is technically my deck. We like to put a backer and then we load the fronts with two by material as strength for our steps. So I have to account for that. So I have to subtract three inches two by and two by, describe that line. Then I come to the bottom, our rise is six inches. So I measure down six inches, but I have to account for our thickness of our material that we're putting on our treads, which is about an inch, seven eighths. So I subtract that and then I scribe that line. And then it's up to the boys to cut them nice, cut them all the same, and then we install them. Nice. Stair building 801 was easier than I thought. Yeah, it's early in the morning. I'm fresh. Usually I get, I tend to get a little grumpy around right before lunch because my tummy's hungry. And one thing that I always found confuses some people, he explained how we subtract the three inches from the backside here because we're going to be putting a backer on the back of all of our stringers and then we're going to be building out the fronts, connecting them with two by material. So some people get confused. Hey, shouldn't I subtract an inch and a half off of each uh, tread because I'm going to be adding a two by to the front. No, because this right here is 13 inches. We're going to be adding a two by. So you would think, okay, now it's making it 14 and a half, but no, this one is also getting a two by. So we're basically subtracting an inch and a half off of this tread and then we're adding it here. So everything is going to line back up and be good. So we only need to worry about the depth yep. on that first tread first one. and we need to worry about our height on our bottom one. Now that we have the stairs all cut, we've assembled them, we have this kick plate on the front, and we've got our backer board. Now we can just throw it up there. We'll add all these other pieces once it's screwed in and secured. It's gonna cut down on the weight a little bit and uh, make it a little bit easier. So we have a line snapped right across here for our height. What are we, what are we at, Fifth, uh, five and 15 sixteenths? There you go. Oh, it's not too bad. You're gonna be, yep. Yeah. You gonna get down there? There you go. So we're just temping it up with these three inch screws. We'll put 
some nice big structural lags in there. And then we can also screw it into our trim nailers on the bottom and this thing will really be locked in for justice. Hey, Sean. Hey. What are you doing? I don't know, you know, I just felt like painting. What we actually are doing is uh, what we do on all of our framing. We paint it black. It's really a stain. We stain it black. That way it's gonna hide all of the lumber behind our trim. On this one, we're doing five and a half boards. We're spacing it about a half inch. So if it wasn't painted black, it would really stand out. This just makes it disappear. It's a little bit of extra work, but I think it's worth it because uh, it makes the finished product so much cleaner. And it's nice and relaxing. Just don't spill it on the deck. And when am I gonna learn real karate? Oh, painting the fence is karate. Paint the deck, Dennison. You can see we got the trim around the fascia of this stair set done. And this is a really good example to show you exactly how we achieve this trim detail of our risers wrapping right around and then continuing onto our fascia. So what we have here is a five and a half inch Costa board. We spaced it a half inch. So we made our risers six inches so that each board continues straight across. It'll do the same thing all the way down. Gives it a super nice clean look. One of our signature looks. I love it and it's coming together. We got a bit of a whoopsie on our hands here. Um, I know, you probably think Premier Outdoor Living were absolutely perfect, especially in the planning phase of things. Let me show you what we got. You can see we have this two and a half inch rip of Tundra. That was the plan for all of our perimeter to do a two and a half inch piece of Tundra and then our five and a half inch Costa. That works out perfectly over here, but on this side, we're about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half off. So we had a couple options. We could just have a larger rip on this side. So it would have to be this big. Check that out. This is about three and a quarter. These are two and a half. We realized the only true option, we gotta do surgery on this deck. As much as this sucks, we're ripping off this, this rim joist. We're cutting this back. We're taking off the stairs. We're rebuilding it and uh, we're gonna do it the right way, so that's how we do it. Nobody's gonna know we did this, but you are because we're filming it. It um, is what it is. We're honest, we wear our hearts on our sleeve, we wear our projects on our faces, faces, and this is what happens. But hey, we're gonna do the right thing, we're gonna get it fixed. We're gonna make uh, it right. It is what it is. It is what it is. So check back on the next vlog, see how we take care of this, make sure that we stay on track. I know it's a little bit of a roadblock, a little bit of a setback, but we're gonna be fine. We're gonna keep on trucking here. So make sure you hit subscribe. And until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.